Hi, my name is Trevor Harrison with Media Vision, a division of Cal Poly Pomona, here for the West Southwest Regional Educause Conference. It's day two. Uh, we got some poster sessions, and we have uh, roundtable lunches and a lot more sessions. Uh, let's go check it out and see what we got in store today. I thought the Stanford talk yesterday morning was really good. Uh, they presented on what they've learned with um, mobile technologies that they've used in the School of Medicine. So that was very insightful because they had two years of data that they could share. And two of the guys from Portland State talked about the strategies that they've used over the last couple of years to, uh, to look at mobile apps and um, how, how they've worked through that whole thing. So, uh, Any particular mobile apps that they're using that have given them a lot of payoff? Uh, well, they actually have developed some of their own, so um, and, and they talked through the process of starting out small on a single platform and then incrementally developing outward and, and increasing functionality and adding more platforms. I am here with Sharon from Portland State University. Sharon, I understand the CIO there? Yes, I am the CIO. Great. So, uh, big into technology, big into education, and the melding of the two, uh, where do you really see uh, education technology in the future, maybe two, three, four, five years down the road? Well, five years is a little bit far da down the road, but I can say one of the big concerns that we have right now that, that we're really trying to embrace and, and figure out how to, how to make the best use of uh, is the, the whole concept of bring your own device. You know, all of us are carrying around, uh, yeah, I have, I have three devices with me today, and the students, when they come to our campuses, they have multiple devices. They're devices that we don't actually manage, so they're cell phones, they're PD, you know, PDAs, they're, they're um, iPads and tablets. And we're really struggling with how do we best provide and provision our services to those devices that we really don't have uh, control over. And in addition to the bring your own device, they're also bringing their own services. So, uh, and, and faculty maybe don't necessarily want to use the, um, say, the LMS that's been chosen for the institution. Maybe they want to go and, and use some kind of a, a service that they can uh, acquire in the cloud. So how do we, as IT leaders, really embrace all of these technologies, get a handle on them, and, and provide the kind of support that our faculty, staff, and students need? Brooke, were there any uh, sessions this morning that you found of particular interest? Yes, I went to one about prioritizing projects through IT governance, and it was really good. It was about Portland State University's efforts to implement better project management processes on their campus over about a four-year period. Four years, so a pretty long process. Uh, were there any uh, real like interesting uh, takeaways or like insights from the, the proposals? Yeah, I think that they realized that they didn't have the information that they needed to make decisions about projects, and this uh, putting this process in place really enabled them to communicate to the campus about what they were working on and what their priorities were, and, and their achievements at the end. So. Oh, Chris, any sessions you found of particular interest this morning? Yeah, I went to a Google session this morning on migrating your campus from uh, whatever your existing uh, email system is onto the, the Google product. Uh, it was very quite nice. Uh, it was done by Portland State uh, University. Was it like a hands-on or was it a more of like a lessons learned or what kind of a presentation was it? It was much more of a lessons learned. It was a demo of the product, which we're, we're already using at Art Center. We've already migrated our students. But what we're looking at doing is we're looking at migrating our faculty and our staff. One of the things that they did in particular at Portland is they created a, a custom tool to allow their faculty and staff and students to be able to opt in early into the migration. So migrate their individual accounts over uh, before the main... Uh, push of all the rest of their accounts was done and that uh, is something that would be of great interest to what we're doing at Art Center so we've been able to connect with them and we're going to follow up with looking at using their tool which they've open sourced um, and trying to incorporate that into our our system as well.